I'm going to take this photo and turn it into this painting in about 14 stages. Watch how this works. Here's my setup. I have a computer screen with the picture as close to my canvas as I can get it and a simple sketch that I've projected onto the canvas and traced. It's a quick and easy way to get an accurate foundation for the painting. Let's call that stage one. Stage two. Here I've quickly put down a rough color and value for the background using acrylic paint. Pretty crude, huh? My goal in the next few stages is just to get that blazing white canvas covered as soon as possible so I can start making more accurate color and value judgments as I work toward a balanced finish. Stage 3. The coat was the next largest mass to get covered. I don't even try to get the right colors or values yet, just trying to get close. But I was a little careless here and went away overboard on the color. Way too much intensity. Well, no problem. I know I can cover it later with the right color when I switch to oil paint. But, by the way, it's okay to put oil paint over acrylic, but not the other way around. Acrylic paint just doesn't stick permanently to oil. Stage 4. The Shirt and Hat Here I did switch to oil paint because it's more transparent than acrylic. These are pretty dark values and I wanted to make sure the paint was transparent so I wouldn't lose my foundation drawing yet. Stage 5. Here, looking back at my original photo, I realized that the background value was way too light to be able to judge against the hat and coat. So I went back and darkened it with another acrylic layer. Constant checking and updating is the name of the game in oil painting. Stage 6. Okay, finally ready to attack the face. Many artists like to start right out on the face because it's the most interesting thing to paint. Big mistake. If you judge the values and colors in a face against a white background, or colors and values that aren't even close to what they will be in the finish, wrong. You'll be in for a big surprise. Everything has to work together. Well, I finally got all that screaming white covered, but it looks kind of scary so far, right? Not to worry. It's all oil paint from now on and we have great control. Stage 7. The value of the hat is pretty close to the background value, so I did them both at the same time. That way I could make sure they had the right relationship. The background was only a little lighter than the black hat, and I wanted to make sure the edge didn't get lost. Stage 8. Since I was already working with dark colors, it was just natural to get the shirt out of the way too. I threw a few quick dabs in the eyes and some other details, just for fun. Stage 9. Okay, time to fix that stupid color on the coat. I did just a rough layer in oil to get it back to something closer to the right colors and values that are in the photo. Nobody's perfect. Stage 10. Finally I could get serious on the real fun part, the face. I covered only the left side in this stage because I was really concentrating on getting every color and value exactly right. It's like trying to get the four legs on a chair the right length. If you trim one, then another one might need to be trimmed to stop it from rocking. It's the same thing when painting. The color and value of every shape is related to all the shapes that join it. Change one, and you might have to change a few others to get the right balance. Stage 11. Since the colors and values on the right side of the face were totally different from the left side, it was not a big problem to do them in two different stages. The overall value relationship between the two sides was easier to see this way anyhow. Stage 12. I did the neck and overall tweaking of the face at the same time to get everything working together. The face is obviously the most important component of the painting, so it demands the most attention. But remember, everything still has to relate. Stage 13. The coat was kind of tedious with all the folds, dips, and color shifts, so I did the left half first, then quit for a day or two to get my brain back in gear. At least I was now working in the right color range. Stage 14. I finished the right side of the coat and then did an overall tweaking of the entire painting. 
It's amazing how a little accent here and there punches up a good painting to make it a great painting. You should always plan to do that. Check out my website at www.cfsvideo.net. You can order my teaching DVD titled How I Did It, right from the site. It shows how I paint a portrait right from scratch all the way to the finished painting. I even tell you what I'm thinking as I make my painting decisions. And don't forget to have fun painting. <laughs>